pacing seems unapproachable from a design perspective. So much of it is dependent upon the way the game is played. But what hand design does play into pacing is that of resolution mechanics. What seems to have the greatest effect is how a system handles conflict. This could be any type of conflict, a verbal dispute, being an argument between two people, or an argument with an audience, or speaking to the audience directly, any type of conflict about changing someone's opinions. It could be a fight, or it could be any of those other two with players as a combatants as opposed to players against non-player characters, or it could simply be a struggle against the environment. There are three distinct and obvious ways that we can resolve conflict. We can access the mechanics a single time, like Endurance or Siren. We can engage the mechanics for a definitive number of limited uses, like Dogs in the Vineyard or Misspent Youth. Or we can continue until it's done, either by the mechanics indicating as such, or until one side relents. There is an often made point of some systems that four hours of travel can take five minutes to play, but five minutes of combat can take four hours to play. Now, the first part can't really be controlled by the system. People will concentrate on whatever they find interesting in the story. But the second part can be controlled. We do have the ability to change the way combat works and how long it will take. There are many things that can delay the outcome of a conflict. For example, the dice themselves. The more often we have to consult them, the more we have to work math into those, the more it's going to delay the outcome. There's, of course, negotiating the rules themselves. Now, people will dispute rules in some cases, or will take a little while to learn how rules work, but there's also consulting charts, or applying the right rule in the right case, which will delay whatever is happening in the game. To me, player distraction matters here as well, simply because the longer it takes for one player's turn to come around, the more likely that player is going to become distracted while waiting. Another major delay is when, as a result of the way the rules work, nothing can happen as a result of checking with the mechanics. This is often a result of a failure. Most systems do this, but notable exceptions are Apocalypse World and games based off of it, where regardless of what you roll, when you roll the dice, something will happen. And of course the rule system itself might be designed for a certain duration of the conflict. For example, the deadliness of the system, or the effect of wounds being able to force a surrender. Finding the right pacing for conflict resolution typically puts tactical players on the opposite camp of narrative players. A game can't be both. A heavily tactical game requires detail, and a narrative game will suffer from that detail. The obvious solution seems to be to find the balance that best suits the audience. Not many players want a dramatic confrontation to be resolved too swiftly or too easily, but the same can be said for an overly long conflict. We have to find the balance that is right for our game. Like many other topics I've discussed, we have to look at what you want from play and then find out how to get that. Relevant links are below, and I hope your next game is even better than the last.